Namaste. Hey. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I see the God in you. Let's tap right into this reading. Okay. And see what you need to know right now. Um, so this one, this, this flew out. We got to take it. So, um, Someone you love is currently experiencing a spiritual awakening because of your absence. Now, this really does sound like, and I just, I had to take that. I had to take it because I just had to take it. That's why I love to shuffle on camera. And I love being in the present moment. The person you want to be obsessed and in love is obsessed and in love with you. So, um, right away, this is, <laughs> this is kind of feeling, um, I mean, this could go into different, I am hearing that with this person that is experiencing this, this spiritual awakening, this is someone that you have unknowingly hurt touched woke up to the core okay i am sensing two energies so i also get that the person that you want is feeling this energy it's like you're chasing 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 the rabbit and if you've ever seen a rabbit good luck imagining trying to chase a rabbit right um that person is like now they've turned around the rabbit has turned around and they're looking at you like like <laughs> you're the one and you just might not be feeling this way this could be love this could be related to some of you that are in a relationship this could be um It could just be some sort of evolution. And it's like, there is nothing that can keep your mind from your target is what I'm hearing. But they're obsessed with you. This person, this group, for some of you, it is a group of people, okay? Um, stop telling them your business they will never give you the validation that you deserve. Okay. So when I was channeling this deck, it, it took me some time. Okay. Um, these are specific messages. Th this deck came from a real place. Okay. Of knowing. And um, I don't remember. Uh, not a single. Not a single message. Okay. So... Yeah. Whoever you were seeking validation from, they're now seeking it from you. Whoever you were, like, in love with, now they're in love with you. Hopefully, it's reciprocated, okay? But even in that relationship, there's just some things you're not going to get. So you're in a place, and right after this full moon in Aries, I know it was a volatile moon. I hope that nobody popped off too crazy um i hope that we are staying centered let's just see what else wants to come through one more specific message um wow they know they started it but it's now now you're going to finish it they know they started it, but now you're going to finish it. Sorry, like I said before, this is a red alert. Um, this message is not to be taken lightly. Anyone who just, 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 just attempted to fuck with you, like to to mess with your energy, to mess you up. <laughs> That's my nephew likes to say. <laughs> Oh, um, anyone trying to mess you up? Yeah, it's about to be a serious problem, okay? Um, and 
but there is some romance involved in this situation because there is someone that you want to be obsessed with you for some of you i feel like you're going to be finding self love self love is coming through like you're about to love yourself on another level but for i feel oof. okay look at this we have to ignore we have to acknowledge this okay aries leo sagittarius the war is over the fight is over you already spiritually won this battle okay <laughs> And um, there's nothing anyone can do. And a lot of times, if you felt like you didn't have to say anything or you didn't say anything or you didn't want to say anything, it, you, you made the right choice by staying in your solitude, using your wisdom and letting your wisdom guide you, okay? Um, if this is a romantic relationship, this is definitely going to be a repeat from the previous reading. Um this love is coming for you and no matter what you made the right decision i just feel this telenovela energy coming through maybe some of you can resonate or understand that like maybe your life has felt like it's a movie but the thing of it is there is victory and there is success because we have the chariot cancer pisces scorpio energy gemini aquarius libra energy coming through um yeah so that you weren't being seen so you're going from not being seen in the physical realm to being seen in the spiritual realm people are gonna see you they're gonna hear what you have to say and also i'm getting a strong vibe that your angels aren't playing with people so um whatever the spiritual awakening that they're having or they're experiencing because someone's definitely having a spiritual awakening it has to do with your discipline and your determination let's see who's coming in though um definitely i'm i'm, I'm hearing this so strong someone that you're stuck on someone who's going to be honest with you someone who's not going to lie to you someone who's not gonna just tell you what you want to hear okay this is someone who's going to tell you the truth um really strong libra scorpio energy this person wants to come clean with you about whatever they did in the past. So if someone recently told you anything, keep that between you and them. Because I feel like this person wants to be with you or they're gonna wanna be with you or they're gonna hire you or be around you because you know how to keep a secret. You know, you use your judgment you know how to keep a secret and they just trust your word they trust what you have to say this is going back generations okay um the person you want to be obsessed and in love with you that's what we're talking about um yeah this person they can see a future with you they can see you see you like in their family they could see you being with them they could see this being long term and um if you haven't been around them yeah it's kind of breaking their heart they're kind of feeling like they want to get over whatever whatever the drama is so if there's been some drama between you, yeah, because look at that. We have the devil. You know, the devil's always causing drama, but the devil is not winning in this situation. This is a subconscious energy. Um, so let's just see some more. Let's just get some more psychic messages and see. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's happening in real time? Okay, in real time. You might feel like this person is choosing their work over you. You might feel like this person is choosing other people over you. Um, especially if, if you're in school with this person or you met this person in a work situation. Um, it's confusing. It's not easy to be with them. It's not easy to deal with the situation. It's not easy to wait for them. But what's going to happen if you decide to wait for this person? Give them time. Because I'm going to tell you right here, right now. Um, the reason why you want to wait for this person is because they're not trying to be shady. Okay. It might seem that way, but they're not trying to be shady. So, that's what I'm hearing, okay? And I don't even have to do anything. Yes, we do see the pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy coming through. This person could be thinking of introducing you to their family, and it's like you pop off, and then you just mess everything up. I'm getting that you need to be patient with this person. I'm really getting that, yeah, you need to be patient with this person because you don't want things to pop off that aren't necessary, Okay, um, let's get a confirmation and see if you're still watching this reading, you're definitely going to get your person and I I'm definitely hearing it's going to be within the next two to three weeks. Okay, could be even day after tomorrow for some of you. Why is this devil showing up? Because this person is jealous. This person is, uh, oof. <sighs> You're going to know who this is and what this is because this person is not going to want to share you. So, um, if this person is talking about multiple people, sharing people, that, that's not going down with this person. And this person is going to give up some sort of lifestyle for you. They're going to choose you. They're going to be like, I'm done with this. I'm done with that person. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that anymore. Um, I'm really getting, I'm getting the vibe to get some confirmation. I'm going to use another deck and see... What is the confirmation? And then we're going to flip it. I'm going to flip this deck and see. Why is this devil card here? Why, why, why? Is this devil card here? In reverse. Because I know some of y'all like that's not. Ooh, because you're lit. Because you're the queen of pentacles. Okay, you could be a king. You could be a queen of pentacles. Because you are the one. They got their eyes on you. That's why. Okay? <laughs> Period. Like, what? They're obsessed with you. Okay? <laughs> Like, I just can't deal with this. Look at this on the bottom of the deck. What? You got the Ace of Pentacles. Stop. And did you hear that? I had to check my camera. Like, is this really happening right now? Did you hear that spiritual thing? What? Because, like, they're obsessed with you. You got them legit. Like, whatever you see with them. <laughs> can't even make this up all right a lot of high vibrational frequency energy happening whenever someone starts dropping something or something falls or something dings or you hear that's just that person having a super high vibrational frequency so the bottom of that deck we do have the devil and the ace of pentacles so i'm just saying i do consider this being reversed so i just feel that this person is They're drawn to your sexual energy. They're drawn to your intellectual energy. They're drawn to anything and everything that has to do with you. And they're coming with a big offer. Do you get my drip? <laughs> Something with longevity, all right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you got the Ace of Pentacles. You can depend on this person. Don't be surprised, okay, because, yeah, the devil is here, and I, I, I'm not even trying to, like, be funny. I know, you know, people get freaked out the month of October, okay. Um, we're using the Mac Tarot deck, 
okay? <laughs> I work for MAC Cosmetics. I love it. All right? So I'm just saying, listen, don't be... Don't be surprised of the power that you have over the lower natures of this person and also the control that you have because you definitely have this person feeling like like you got control over them, okay? In fact, we're just going to get a little deeper and we're going to tap into seeing more of how they're feeling about you right now. How are they feeling about you in the present moment? Look at that. You see what I'm saying? Like, the darkness leads to the light. Like, <laughs> engagement. If this is contract, like this is work related, this person, they, this company, these people, they want to commit to um, something being longevity for some of you, this person, it is leading to an engagement and this engagement is going to make you so happy. Okay. Why do I say that? Because that's how I feel right now. I feel excited. And the reason I'm saying that you're going to have passion. Okay. You're also going to have, this is, this is major. I'm just saying this person's dark side is not worth what you're going to get in the end. Okay? I'm just saying. You might have to put up with some shit, but I feel like it's going to be worth it. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be worth it. Um... I'm just flabbergasted right now. I really want to get some more cards and see what this person is thinking. If you get an engagement ring and you don't let me know, I'm definitely going to find out and I'm going to feel some type of way. Okay. <laughs> Please let me know. Please let me know. Family. This person wants to introduce you to their family. They want to start a family with you. You might have had to deal with a lot of lower vibrational frequency energy to get to this point, but it's coming. Just trust and believe that it's coming, okay? Because you deserve it. Look at that. I'm going to let that fall. We got groom. We got transformation. And we got divine timing. So I really feel like the only thing that could stop this from happening is you. The only thing that I could stop you from getting what you want at this point is you. Because all of your cards from the beginning of this reading said someone you love is currently experiencing a spiritual awakening. That's the first card and that's this transformation. You give this person butterflies and you make them feel like they have a reason to live again. The timing is impeccable. You would know this person because they feel like your timing is impeccable. They just feel like whenever you call them, text them, whenever you're around, whenever they're in your energy, whenever they get to spend time with you, the timing is impeccable. For some of you, I, I do want to revisit this. So if you're still watching, you let me know because this is sticking out. They started it, but now you're going to finish it. That's all of the doubt. That, to me, that's the doubt from your haters, okay? Um, that could also be your love for this person, all right? That's your love for this person. <laughs> Somebody's dominating the situation. <laughs> it's like the, the, the back seat is now taking the front seat. Yeah, um, they're so focused on you. Okay, let's just see what they want to say. What are they thinking? What they want to say? What are they thinking? And what do they want to say? I was not expecting for this video to be so heavy. What are they thinking? 
And what do they want to say? Oh! <laughs> If you don't know, now you know, okay, baby, baby, right? This person wants you. Some of you could be seeing the number eight. The number eight could be significant. This person can't stop thinking about you. I'm just saying, okay, let's just, let's, let's take it back. Let's, let's piggyback. Look at that piggyback. I want you. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, doesn't have to be, it could be any sign, okay? It could be a fire sign. Look at all that fire. They want you, but not in a creepy way, okay? <laughs> I don't know, for some of you, no, no, no. I'm just kidding. But no, seriously, they really want you. So, I mean, if you have to put up with a lot, baby, somebody's going to be hating because you have to stop telling them your business. Somebody didn't want you to be with this person. I need more balance. They know there's a lot going on in their life. There's a lot going on in your life. There's a lot going on even in the, the, the universe right now. All right. There's a lot going on in the world. This person knows they're aware they need more balance and they're don't be surprised if they put you in their schedule sooner than soon. We got the number 28, the number two, the number eight could be significant. What else do they want to say? Ooh, I think this is the favorite, my favorite part. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Yes, namaste. Okay, wrongful advice. Yeah, my clear audience is my super strength. Um, someone's saying that I made the wrong choice in the past. I'm sorry. I made the wrong choice. I married the wrong person. 2222, okay? I made the wrong choice. I married the wrong person. I'm sorry. I just don't want that to happen again. I need you. I've invested a lot of time. I I want to invest more time. I want to make time. But if you can, slow it down. Slow it down. Be sweeter with me. Be nicer to me. <laughs> because this could lead to longevity. All right? This is the hair font. All right? Don't play games. Ooh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I love this deck. Um, yeah, for some of you, this person might have slowed down. They might have... Like pull back their energy. Don't don't fret. Don't get all paranoid. Don't start creating problems that you don't have. Okay. And just trust because this person is thinking about you late at night. Their thoughts are, are on you at night. Okay. I lie awake at night thinking about our future. Um, especially if you're like in a relationship with someone right now and you know that you guys are talking. There's something going on between you. Like, it's feeling deep. It could be long distance. It could be... I mean, I hate to say it. Some people might feel some type of way. It might be something that is like you haven't really solidified. But it could go from not knowing what it is from a situationship to an actual, like, engagement. Because we do have this engagement ring here. So, don't... Don't do that self like negative self talk because I, I I could I could hear someone um thinking like well you know we just met or like oh well it's still new if you really want marriage and you're really serious about this person it doesn't matter if you just met them they're thinking long term when it comes to you okay because I am hearing long term in this reading. Um, let's just see what else they want to say. What do they want to say? Ooh, I'm sorry. I am obsessed with you. <laughs> I, oh my God. I said with you, with your body. Correction. Okay. 
well for some of you yeah they are obsessed with you on a mental but this devil energy is coming through strong so some of you could really be dealing with someone who has strong capricorn placements some are rising venus mercury mars okay um doesn't have to be but anyway this person expect them to give you some apology expect them to clear the air because oh my god love when this happens i even forgot about this look the person you want to be obsessed and in love with you is obsessed and in love with you okay um it's more than just you it is also your it's also your body they're also obsessed with your body <sighs> i feel like something major is about to happen let's get some more cards and see um, what you need to know right now. Ooh, somebody is like, okay, if this person is like kind of being quiet or being silent with you, it's, it's just simply because of your confidence. There's a transformation. Your energy is solid, it's strong right now. So you're the missing link to my picture perfect life. I love that. Yeah, you're perfect to them. You're perfect in their eyes. And you're just simply the missing link. Okay, I'm willing to compete. So if you're with someone else, just expect this person to go super ham over you. Because they do feel like you're their future wife um, or future husband. Do you think that someone who went out and spent an engage money on an engagement ring, someone who's been thinking about marrying, is going to let somebody just take you away like that, babe? Like, <laughs> no. I'm literally seeing the five of wands and here's the five of wands right here to confirm that they're not it's not about to go down like that some of you could live in Hawaii okay some of you could be Hawaiian I'm just saying um really strong Aries Leo Sag coming through Cancer Pisces Scorpio it's a lot of signs all right mm, they're not gonna just let shit go down all right that's what i'm getting because they're obsessed with you that's what i'm getting i feel like i could go on and on and on but i'm gonna leave it here with some advice yeah let's take away with some advice this was a fun reading many 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 plot twists many many um yeah, because I'm here. your ex better not come back around. So <laughs> somebody, somebody is trying to tell you. Your ex better not come back around. What the? <laughs> okay, duly noted. Let's get some advice from the pocket angels. Wow, all you need to do is believe. So your belief system is so important right now. What you're thinking, what you're imagining, what you're creating is so important right now. It's like they want to be on board with you. The higher frequencies, the higher vibrationals, the gods of the universe, right? The God in you and all around you wants to be in tune with you. But you have to believe in those connections. You have to believe in those signs. You have to believe in those synchronicities. And you have to start making those contracts, okay? Because you are a soulfulish being. You are a spirit having a human experience. It's time for you to start believing that, babe, okay? Yes. What do you need to know? Oh, this one's for Trevor. What says? Wow, positive thinking can change the outcome. So I'm clearly hearing that um, it is easy for you to think positive, but maybe it's the energies and frequencies around you, like your friends might be kind of negative or 
you know, if you're feeling... Okay, if you're having a bad day, don't worry, okay? Um, don't talk to your friends that are going to make you feel bad. The camera literally just stopped by itself. So there's definitely some higher frequency energies popping off right here, right now, okay? So yeah, they want you to just be more positive. You're being guided. You're being called to keep your thoughts super high. Um, practice the law of assumption. Look into that, guys. If you don't know about it, forgive and let go. Yeah, so I'm getting the energy of staying in the present moment because, ooh, a garden, oh, going outside, gardening, I mean, avoid someone who has a garden. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, I'm getting some visuals now. So it's just like, listen, forgive and let go. Right? Relationships need nurturing. They need love. It takes time. Okay. This is this is creating a vibe here. I'm seeing a garden here, an outdoor garden. Um, but positive thinking can change the outcome. So even if you're gonna go and be around someone who's kind of low vibe or their energy is kind of toxic, positive thinking before you get there can change the outcome. Just try to be positive because what you are manifesting is really great. You're manifesting an engagement. For some of you, you want to get married, you know, in order to have love, you have to give love. Okay. So whatever this is, whatever this contractual agreement may, it may be, this is something that you want. This is something that you've been waiting for. And this is going to take a lot of, a lot of transformation. Okay. You're going to go through a lot of transformative energy okay um so i hope this all works out for you i hope that this resonates don't forget to press like 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 share subscribe subscribe click the notification bell and i'll see you soon in your next reading until then namaste peace and love